guys, what are we gonna do today? Today I'm gonna show you something really fun. I really love this new product that I found. I'm using all of my IOD molds, and this is another great way to use these. Um, and I'm using a new clay, and it's called Quick Cure Clay. And you can see I did these bracelets. I did this really pretty pendant right here. We're doing napkin rings. Um, I even covered a cheese knife. You can see I just used the mold, put it over there. Here's another bracelet. I just did a different technique on the painting with some Pantina. Let's just get started. Okay, so I am gonna do two projects today. I'm gonna to show you a little pendant that I'm doing, and we're gonna do one of the bracelets. But you can take any of these pieces or any molds you have. So I, I think they actually say you can use oil. I haven't done it yet, and this has worked fine for me so far. So I'm continuing on with this, the way I'm doing it. And I'm just using a little baby powder, but you could use cornstarch. And this is the Quick Cure Clay. It does have a smell to it. And it says to wear gloves. I never wear gloves, no matter what anybody ever says. But I did try this, and I put this on my wrist when it was uh, raw clay, and it didn't feel good. It's just something you really want to wear gloves with. If you're going to use this, wear gloves, but it does agitate your skin, and you do want a well-ventilated area to work in. Um, when it cures, there's, there's no problem with it at all. So what I'm going to do is for this bracelet, I am just going to squish this clay into here, into this IOD mold. And this is one of the trims. It's a little, a little sticky, but it's not bad. So sometimes it just wants to pull a little. You'll see when I pull this up. Bend the mold. edge and you can sand this after it's dried up. It's really hard to see but you can see there's little fibers at the end. And I'm just going to round these ends a little and then the other one I was going to do was this one for the pendant. The clay is pretty nice and soft and squishy. I mean you just want to play with it just a little to get it a little softer. The one thing nice about this is it does not dry out. It doesn't dry out at all so you have a long time to work with it. Even after you cure it, if you want to, you can take another piece and mold that and put it on top and cure it on top of that also, which is kind of cool. The one thing about this um, that I did read is you actually could cure it while it's in the mold because these molds can go in the oven. So for this one, I was using this for my frame and what I wanted was a square indented piece. So I took this little plastic box and I am just going to squish way down in so I have a nice indentation so it looks like a frame. And then the last thing I'm gonna need to do is make holes, unless you were gonna add um, like a clip at the top or something you need your holes, and with the bracelet too. And I am gonna make, make sure your hole's a little bigger, because I'm gonna be putting ribbon through this. And I'm just using an end of a stylus. Okay, let's get to the fun part. So, for the bracelet, I just took a piece of metal sheeting and kind of guessed, because I wanted it to be a little rounded. And when the heat hits it, if you just try to hold it rounded, it'll just move whichever way it wants to. So I'm just gonna lay this on here and set it on here. I'm gonna get my heat gun and then we're going, you're gonna see how we cure this very easily. This doesn't take long at all. And you may or you may not see this. You're gonna see like a little white poof of smoke or when you see the heat on the edge and I take one end, I just heat one end and you'll start to see it having like a little chemical reaction where it's starting to cure. And all you need to do is heat one end and it actually will cure all the way through. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming up. It's actually curing. And with this clay, it actually expands a little. 
So if you didn't need to make holes or do anything else, you literally could leave your clay in the mold, heat it there, and then it'll expand and get perfect edges. And it really is pretty. So in it will be almost completely hard. Right now it's probably, you can hear it, it is hard. Now I noticed that whatever on the metal it's great because see it's gonna come right off of this metal. It, it will actually cure from one end and it cures through the whole piece. So on this piece right here, what I did is I wrapped it around this wooden, this mold around this wooden knife. And when I heated it, it completely bonded to this. So you really wanna be careful what you're setting it on. Cause I tried to use like the end of a wooden um, rolling pin, a really big one, and it got stuck on there. It almost wants to bond whatever you put it on. So the metal seems to work well because then I can just flip it off and it's not stuck to there. But on this, it actually did. It, just bonded right to this. Also with the little glass vial I did, when I just kind of wrapped it around, it actually bonded to the piece, which is really kind of cool. You don't even need to glue it on. Okay, let's get to this little guy. And this is a really cute pendant, but you could take any of the square molds and then indent into the center and do the same thing. And you have an instant little frame. And then when you start to see the reaction, you kind of just let it go and it will actually cure through the whole piece. And where the smoke is coming out is where it's curing through it. You could actually make these into buttons. And what I had read was um, you can put them in the washer, the dryer, dry clean. So it's really, really fun and durable. So I'm just gonna take a emery board or take a piece of sandpaper and you can kind of sand any of the edges you don't like. I'm just gonna paint this whole frame. You could paint the frame one color, the inside a different color, just whatever you want to do. You could just use regular paints on this. You can use alcohol inks on this, just about anything you can think of that you would use to color anything would work on this. I mean, you could add fun little colors to the flowers. I'm just making this very, very simple. I like simple. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try something just a little different. I, instead of using a dark wax on this one, I'm gonna make just a little bit of a wash and I use some black paint and just some water. So it's kind of watery. I'm gonna let it set for a second before I wipe it off. I'm gonna do it with this one too. I'm gonna get a soft cloth and try just to buff it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna put some clear wax on this. And you can just use a polyacrylic. You can use any type of a sealer you would like on these. But hopefully what I'm trying to show you is that you could literally just do the trim mold, cut it into three and make bracelets very, very quickly and make them all unique. It is pretty. So I'm gonna use this dark little guy here. And I think he is gonna fit. Now I can only use little teeny words, so I think I'm gonna do et cetera, et cetera. shine on this little guy and let's see okay so I think I'm just gonna put another sealer over you probably don't have to if you want a high gloss use a high gloss sealer I'm using big top but you can use any type of sealer you would like and all I'm doing is going over the outside edges and then the last thing I am going to do to finish this is I'm going to use some uh, glossy accents and this does take a little while to dry and it does self level so I'm just filling in this frame I'm gonna make sure you don't have any bubbles in there and then when it dries 
just gonna be very, very shiny where that is. So I'm just gonna let this set and dry, and this is gonna take probably a few hours to dry. So I really like this cording, sorry silk, so I am probably, when this dries, I'm probably gonna use it like So this. for this one, I um, just added my sorry silk cording and tied it through. But you could use a jump ring, use metal necklaces, whatever you would like to use. And also on this one, I use sorry silk. So all I am going to do, I'm just gonna cut two pieces. I'm just gonna squish it together, make a little, that stick it through here there we go just pop right through have a little loop here on one side then add it to the other side okay so now that you can see how you can use the quick cure clay and you can make so many different things I said we did the cheese knife, the napkin rings, the jewelry, um, the little pendants. This is just really easy and fun, and the more you play with it, the more ideas you'll probably come up with. I had several people asking me about this one, and this is exactly the same as these, except for I used a liquid bronze paint and a spray Pantina. Uh, but it was just another idea to give a Pantina look. So just play around with it, make some fun things. I'd love to see what you do, but have fun.